Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes. So if you are interested in seeing the eyeshadow palettes that I always go for and I always think up whenever I want to do a neutral look, then just keep watching. <laughs> So I have a lot of neutral eyeshadow palettes in my collection. So for this video, I wanted to really stick with eyeshadows that really are true neutral shades. So not like a really warm neutral palette and not a super cool neutral palette. Nothing that's like rosy, plummy, anything like that. Like true brown neutral palettes. That kind of helped me narrow it down to my top 10, especially since I love true neutral tones. So you will see some of these might lean a bit more warm, some might lean a bit more cool, but for the most part, they're these neutral brown eyeshadow palettes that I absolutely love and I just want to get into it. I'm not going to be doing this in any particular order except for brands. I know you guys are going to ask me to rank them. Honestly, I just had so many neutral palettes. Some were like irrelevant, no longer sold. Some were extremely old. So I just picked my top 10 that are still available for purchase for you and they're amazing. So anyways, I'm going to start off with my ColourPop shadows just because I have three palettes. They really have some amazing neutral eyeshadow shadow palettes that I love. So I'm going to start off with the one that I'm actually wearing and this is a big one. This is the Bare Necessities palette and it does not get any more neutral than this palette. First of all, the value of this is absolutely amazing. Now um, this palette does have flaws. I feel like a lot of the colors are extremely close to each other. There's not as much variety as there could be given how many pans are in this palette. But for the most part, this is such an easy to grab for a neutral everyday palette. I always grab for this whenever I know I want to do a neutral look. It is what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now. You can get so many different neutral looks with this palette. There's a lot of different tones in here and overall it's a very well-rounded neutral palette that is extremely affordable. I know some people don't like large palettes like this because it can get overwhelming but I just know personally that when I want to create a neutral look I can always trust this palette to achieve that whatever type of neutral look I am looking for. The quality in here is really great for the value and it's just a really great neutral eyeshadow palette. It's one of those palettes where if you buy like one key palette every year, you will definitely not regret purchasing this just because you get so many shades, so many textures, and I really do love this palette. I haven't talked about it very much on my channel just because it's one of those everyday palettes for me that I wear off camera, but it's a really great pickup from ColourPop. The next one has been in my collection for quite a while, but this is probably one of my favorite go-to travel palettes. This is the Double Entendre palette, and I really enjoy it a lot. It does run a little bit more warm, but there are more neutral neutrals in here as well. It's just very slightly warm because of a couple of shades but this has every neutral shade that I need to travel with because it is just very small packaging, super easy to pack and it has every shade that you really need to create an everyday look. So especially for a vacation where I don't typically intend to go too crazy with my makeup, this is great. You can do evening looks, everyday looks with it. It's a really nice palette and it's great for travel because it's also affordable. So if something happens where this would break, it's not that big of a deal to replace. So that's why I like bringing ColourPop with me on vacation because I'm not worried if the palette breaks. It's not a huge loss. You can just easily be repurchased. And then the last palette that I'm obsessed with for neutrals from ColourPop is the Going Coconuts palette. With this palette, I could also create the look that I have that I'm wearing right now. If the colors are in different place, I accidentally dropped this yesterday and all of the shadows fell out and I kind of just placed them back in. So if this looks weird and they're in the wrong spot, that is why. But I probably could dupe for dupe the shadows in here. So I would say this is almost like a miniature version of the Bare Necessities palettes. I love that you have a few warmer shades, you have a few cooler shades, and just very neutral shades. These are the type of colors that I find to be most flattering on my skin tone. It's just a great little compact palette. It has a mirror. Again, another great travel palette. And if you're into these type of neutral tones, this is one of the prettiest palettes that ColourPop has to offer. They have all of these colors palettes but there's something about this particular neutral palette that is so stunning and it's one of my favorite neutral palettes. I also have a couple options from Viseart that I love and this one is a very basic palette. This is the Neutral Mattes. It's been around forever and it's been a favorite of many people forever for very good reason. It just has every basic matte shade that you need. Now of course this is an all matte palette so a lot of times since I do enjoy shimmer I do pair this with other palettes but sometimes there's some 
something about an all matte look that is really stunning but essentially if you have a smaller collection you want something a little bit more luxurious this is a wonderful palette to go for the matte formula from Viseart is absolutely exquisite full pigmentation but also buildable at the same time great blendability it's just a really wonderful formula this has every basic neutral matte shade that you could ever need and the formula just really works extremely well and this may not be the most exciting palette but it definitely is one of those staples it's just one of those palettes where you just happen to dip in it because you needed this shade or you just grab it because you know you need a nice dark brown and they have that in here I think a lot of people forget about this palette and that this palette exists but it truly is a great staple palette that I do recommend so many people splurge on because it has everything you need and you know it's always going to work well the next neutral palette that I love from Vizzy Art is one that not many people love I feel like I hear nobody talk about it but it's one of my favorites and this is the theory minx palette from Vizzy Art now it is an extremely tiny little portable palette with only six shades you know Vizzy Art they just have this very simple packaging because it is made specifically for makeup artists so this can be just propped up just like a little easel and it's very easy to see the colors I find the formula in here to be particularly amazing buttery creamy so you have the three basic neutral mattes that you could need and then you have three gorgeous shimmers to choose from what makes this formula very special is it's those extremely creamy shimmer formulas where once you put your finger in it glides all the way down your arm with full pigmentation this is just one of the best formulas I have ever come across. Great everyday colors. Before their little mini palettes came out, this was what I always recommended people who wanted to try Vizzy Art to pick up because it's a little bit more affordable and these are colors that you know you're going to use. So this is definitely one of my favorite palettes from Vizzy Art ever. I just find the quality in this to be exceptional and the colors super easy to grab for. Now, for the last five, they are from Miscellaneous Brands, but I can't believe this is ranking so high, but I truly do love it. And I I find myself grabbing for it a lot and that is the Dominique Latte palette. This is the original first palette and I think I love it specifically for this shade right here. It has some glitter in it but it is a beautiful glitter eyeshadow. Now obviously with these down here it kind of takes away from the neutral part of the palette but as soon as you cover these up you have a true neutral palette and I just love the shades in here. They are so basic. They are so simple. They work extremely well and they look flattering on everybody. I really enjoy this palette. I love the curation of colors that she chose from and it's just a solid neutral palette. Now in a lot of these palettes so many of these shades can be duped from each other. These are the type of neutral tones that I do enjoy, but I really do love this palette. And every time I wear it, I always get compliments on the makeup that I am wearing. And I credit it largely to this espresso shade. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. The next palette that we have is from Natasha Denona. So it's a little bit more pricey, but this is such an amazing neutral palette. This is the Biba palette from Natasha. Now this formulation is one of the most buttery, creamy, and smooth formulas you will ever experience. Basically, as soon as you put these shadows on the lid, they will blend themselves for you. I think it is a great matte to shimmer ratio. The majority of this palette is matte, which typically you use more mattes than you do shimmer. You'll kind of just pop a shimmer on the lid and then you use the mattes to do most of the work. So it's really perfect how you have a deeper golden shade, a mid-tone gold, and then a champagne. That's kind of all you really need as far as a neutral shimmer on the lid goes. And then you have a bunch of different tones of browns to choose from to really kind of curate the look that you're going for. If you're looking for something that has a lot of options that's more on the luxurious side with extreme ease of use, I would definitely go with this palette. It really lays out everything that you need and you can create a lot of different looks with this palette. So this is one of the larger palettes in this video and it's one of the best working as far as formulation goes. The next neutral palette that I love is from Scott. Barnes and this is the Snatchel palette. This is a, another larger palette. Now this one I would say is a very unique neutral palette just as far as formulation. I find his formula to be very buildable so you aren't going to get full impact 
as you would like Vizzy Art or Natasha Denona right away. However, that does make it easier for the consumer if you are a makeup beginner or just like light makeup. So you may not be impressed with pigmentation right away, but these do blend beautifully so that you can get the opacity that you were looking for. So honestly, I think that really marks a good shadow formula. If I had my own makeup brand, I would definitely want my formula to be more buildable rather than pigmented right away. So that's what I really like about his formula. He also has a very unique glitter formula in here that is not in any of the other palettes that I'm mentioning. It's kind of like a lid topper with a subtle glitter to it, but once it hits the light, it really reflects and you have glitter all over your eye. So even though I am a neutral makeup lover, I do like some glitter to make it pop. So it's like a glam neutral is what I really like. So this palette is more so for those glam neutral kind of looks. You stick to those neutral tones, but you always have something to amp it up. So I really like that you can get that with this palette. So just the range of textures here, the biddable formula, is what makes me enjoy this palette so much. And it is quite pricey, but honestly, you get a lot of shades and you can get a lot of different looks with this palette. And for a neutral palette, there actually is a lot of variety for different tones that you can play with in here. The next palette that I have to talk about is from ABH. This is probably my most used ABH palette, and it is the Classic Soft Glam Palette. I love this for myself for every day. I also love it for brides because I do do bridal makeup. It just has such very easy soft neutral colors for every day. You can lean more warm with it. It also has a few cooler toned options. What I really like is the different options as far as shimmers go because you have a light pink, you have kind of this deep reddish cranberry color, you have a gold. Actually, you have quite a few gold options in here. I just think these are very popular colors that people tend to want to go for. It's a really great formula. Very, very powdery, very pigmented, but still easy to blend and work with. It just has a little bit of a learning curve, but at this point, so many people have tried ABH, you kind of know how to work with it. ABH does not have my favorite formula, but it does work very well, and I think ABH is one of those brands that really curates the best palette, and the way that they lay out their palettes just makes sense. So this is definitely one of my favorite, most easy to reach for neutral palettes. And then the last one that I have is from Pat McGrath, and this is the Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. I'm such a cool tone neutral lover that I couldn't not mention this because hello cool toned neutrals like I said I tried not to go too 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 cool or too 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 warm as far as my choices in today's video but I couldn't not put this in this just has some of the most beautiful cool toned lid choices now typically I do not use this alone there is one matte dark brown but I do prefer to use another palette of matte shades paired with it so that is when that Vizzy Art neutral matte palette would come into play but you just get such a wonderful creamy formula. Pat McGrath has one of the best shimmer formulas. They swatch a whole entire mile of full opacity with a brilliant gleam to them. Once you put your background matte colors on, you pop one of those colors on the lid and it's just, this palette is just so beautiful. I love cool tone neutrals all over the lid just as I do have that right now and this is a really wonderful palette. So those are my top 10. All right, no particular order, but as far as a neutral toned palette, those are the palettes that I tend to go for that I favor over the others in my collection. But I do have three honorable mentions to share with you. This first one is from ABH. This would beat out a number of the palettes that I just mentioned, but it is no longer available, so I didn't want to mention it. But if you do have it, I would strongly suggest you pull out your ABH Sultry because again, like I said, these cool toned neutrals, I absolutely love. This one is much more cool compared to Soft Glam. I just really love the textured shadows that they have in here. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes. So unfortunately, right now, I do not believe it is available to be sold, which is a shame because this is such a good palette. And the last two you can pick up. I'm totally just cheating and adding three extra ones, but these are quads. So I couldn't put these over the big palettes, but I have two neutral toned Tom Ford quads that I would recommend you pick up if you are looking into Tom Ford quads and you do like those neutral, neutral tones. First one that we have is Coco Mirage. You haven't experienced a matte until you've tried the Tom Ford formula. Totally overpriced, absolutely. You know what? These are some amazing mattes. So these these are really staple math and I couldn't really go through with it to put this in my top 10 because it's only four 
matte shades but oh my gosh they blend like butter and this is really beautiful to pair with another shimmer palette or a glitter lid topper or a cream color because you're going to have this to do all the work for you literally I feel like you stick your brush in and you put it on your eye and it's blended like that three seconds top so this is a really beautiful staple matte quad if you're looking for something of this nature and then also we have the nude dip this is an all shimmer palette though the shimmer is quite soft that you don't need a matte but if you're one of those people where you need to have mattes I would recommend pairing Coco Mirage with nude dip I just think nude dip has a really gorgeous selection of shimmers that are just really sophisticated and extremely pretty and as a cool tone neutral lover I can't not talk about this quad in this video but yeah I am totally cheating but I just I couldn't bring myself to put two $80 quads in my top 10 but honorable mention to them if you are interested in Tom Ford these are awesome but I still stand by my top 10 I absolutely love every single palette that I mentioned to you guys I have some affordable ones like ColourPop in here all ranging all the way up to Natasha Denona Pat McGrath and busy art so quite a range as far as prices go but all across the board I love neutral palettes they're the most flattering on everybody and I think we're always on the market for that perfect one so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful let me know if I convinced you to pick any of these up this is the kind of look that I would wear all day every day if I had to only pick one look to wear for the rest of my life so I'm very excited to share my top picks with you guys if you are not subscribed to my channel already I hope you take the time to do so Thank you so much for taking the time to even watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. Make sure if you have not yet commented or liked this video yet and you want to support me, that is a great free way for you guys to do so. And trust me, I have many more plans to do other palette videos for you guys. You guys seem to love eyeshadow palette videos. I love doing them. I My eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing in the collection. So if you have any palette video ideas, definitely put them in the comments down below. I will read them and I will put them on my list. So anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good rest of your day.